Hi, my name is Chad. Welcome to DIY Baron. Today we're going to be building some simple stocking hangers. My wife likes to send me projects from Pinterest, so this is one of those projects. If you'd like to see the original project, I'll include the link down in the description. Now when I do these projects, I usually take what someone else has done and put my own twist on it based on what I want and what I have on hand. So let's get started. So I decided to make this project out of reclaimed wood. There's a local tractor supply company that puts free wood out front of their place, so I picked this up a while back and figured it'd be a perfect piece for this project. I had to clean it up, take out some staples, and then uh, take it apart. The, um, it was nailed together pretty good, so it took a little bit of working, but uh, it wasn't too bad, just working it back and forth with my hammer and just prying the, the pieces apart. And uh, it probably looks a little bit harder than, than what it was, but just working it for a little while and pretty soon the, the 2x4s just popped off. Once I had it all torn apart, then I pounded the nails out, worked them out with my hammer, and then I looked over it one more time real quick just to make sure I had gotten all the staples and nails out so that I didn't uh, run into anything with my saw. Afterwards, I cut all the pieces out. I just measured and cut each piece individually since uh, it's only uh, only four cuts. It's two pieces six inches long and two pieces four inches long. The six inches are the vertical pieces and the four inches are the, the base pieces. Once I had all the pieces cut out, then I drilled pocket holes in the two vertical pieces to which will is what I will use to connect them to the to the bases. Afterwards I sanded each piece, just used 150 grit sandpaper just to clean up the wood and and knock off any of the, the rough edges. Then I used this dark walnut wood finish to stain all the pieces mainly just because I like the look of this walnut, dark walnut and uh, because it's what I had around. Then I connected the vertical piece to the base with the po two inch pocket hole screws. I didn't take a lot of time to line it up, more just uh, eyeballed the, the center of the base since this isn't a, a real, um, a project that really needs a, a, a lot of accuracy. Next. I mounted the hooks. These hooks I made myself, printed them out on my 3D printer, and I'll put the files up on Thingiverse and you can download them if you want. Found the center of the hanger and then drilled out the holes of the hooks just a little bit to make sure the screws went through fine. Then lined it up and pre-drilled my screw holes. Once that was done, I mounted the hooks with uh, some brass screws that I had left over. I thought the brass would provide a nice contrast. Um, you know, afterwards, I don't know, it might be a little bit too contrasty, but it works. These stocking hangers aren't going to hold a lot of weight, especially once you put some uh, presents in the stockings. They're going to tip off the mantle pretty quickly, so we use these uh, Velcro hanging picture hanging strips to connect it to the mantle and then my wife had these clothespins with a star and a snowflake on it so I hot glued those to the top to hold the pictures and there you go all done it looks pretty good I hope you like this project if so please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel for future projects I've got more projects coming up like this light box sign that I recently built thanks for watching